Don't reach for it, then. Don't pull it out. Don't pull it out. Equity and equality. The end result, we all, the ones that don't want to live in misery, that is, desire. Now, naturally, we all, black and white, are scattered fruit or are malicious. Here are a few examples. Emmett Till, August 28th, 1955, Mississippi, pulled out of his house in the middle of the night in front of his mother, who had to watch her son be taken from her on the sidelines for little to no reason at all worth murdering a 14 year old boy castrated, mutilated, but also documented for the use to see. Corey Ali Muhammad, black on white. Philando Castile, white on black. Now these things never come to or remotely ever remain in the public eye. And the youth is never inspired to take a stand to make a difference. So I will speak for them. The youth that is, the ones full of innocence. The ones inspired by the things around them to matter. I can go on forever about the fact that murder is murder, whether you're black or white, you should always feel free to voice your opinion. But to act out on these irrational thoughts in every shape or form is disgusting. You cannot, as black or white, call yourself the supreme race when moved out of your comfort by the opposition's color, their skin color. That is no form of being or demonstrating being a supreme being. If you are a supremacist, be unmoved by the opposition, remain unscathed, in the comfort of your own home, in your own realm. Demonstrate care for the youth's future, white or black, black or white. Are you willing to risk your child's future due to your own bigotry? Your choice is yours, but your child will not stand for the hate. This generation will be loved, nurtured, heard, and understood.